Okay, hello YouTubers. I am finally back again. This is Shay. And yes, I have my teeth now. My false teeth. <laughs> I probably look funny. And I probably sound funny. I am still trying to get used to them. So, I... Uh, it may look like that I'm holding my mouth in a way that, like it's full of something, because it is. It's full of teeth that's not mine. <laughs> and it's funny, and they're hard to get used to. <laughs> and boy, are they hard to eat with. So, it takes some getting used to big time. So, bear with me on that. Alright, I know it's been a while again. But, like I said, it's hard for me to make videos because I don't m make them in front of my family. My family don't want to be on YouTube videos. And my family is always <laughs> at the house around me, and so that makes it hard. I have to find times and snatch it up when they're all gone at once and I'm the only one here, like now. <laughs> I don't feel too good today. So, um... But anyway, what I'm going to show you, the last time y'all seen my living room was uh, before Christmas. And uh, y'all seen my Christmas tree. And my living room was changed around different. So Christmas is over, the tree's gone, all the holidays is over. We're into the new year and I have changed my living room around. But that is not all that I want to show you. I want to show you that. But I am excited because I got me a new crafting desk. And it is in my crafting corner. And I have done some rearranging with that also. I've done some organizing with my craft supplies. And I'm excited and happy about that. And I wanted to share it all with y'all. So... Where I'm, and I'm moving, I'm sorry, I am a mover, people, I am a rocker, ever since I was a little bitty baby, my mama said I would sit in the floor, playing with my toys, and I would be just rocking back and forth, in church, people, I will sit there and I will catch myself just rocking back and forth, I'm sorry, I can't help it, I've always been that way, I cannot be still, I have to move, so anyway, um, so, uh, I'm going to try not to let this video be too long, and uh, I hope my family don't come in on me before I get it finished because I don't know how to um, pause it either. By the way, before I go any further with this, I want to say welcome to YouTube. Uh, Becca, my sister, my middle sister, is now on YouTube. She is... Um, I can remember it right. The Becca JB. That's the name of her channel. So she is a scrapbooker, card maker. Y'all go check her out. She's new to YouTube. Check her out and subscribe to her. And uh, help her build up her, um, you know, subscribers. Although at this point she's got more than me. <laughs> the meanie. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So, what I'm going to show you is where I'm standing. My back is to my family room. And like I said, I'm on my laptop. So, this is going to be very wobbly, very hard to do. But I'm going to do my best. Especially when it gets to showing my desk and everything on it. This is my family room. It's not really cleaned up that well. That's where I have the baby's playpen with all their toys in it. Um, see that black table thing right there? That's what I used to have. Over here in my craft corner with all of my craft stuff on it. And it was cluttered big time. Well, I don't have that anymore. Okay, it's just sitting out there in the floor. We're going to use it. We're going to put our printer on it out there and get it fixed up. We just have not done that yet. Okay, I'm going to turn around. Sorry if I make you dizzy. So that you can see the other end of my living room. So there's my living room. And that's how my furniture is now. Um, I will go, I will back up and go towards it, so you can see, that's where the, that window there you see with the no curtains hanging in it, and you see outside at the black night, <laughs> um, 
That don't bother me, by the way, people. We've not had curtains up ever since we've moved here. and We're kind of up on the hill, and the, uh, our neighbors is like down below us. And my husband says they cannot see up in here. So that does not bother me. Um, so, what was I saying? See, I'm going to lose my train of thought here. Anyway, that's where our Christmas tree was standing, in the middle of that window right there. And my couch was over there in front of that window. But now it's catacornered in the corner. And Butchie's sprawled out laying on it to sleep. And of course my coffee table in front. And then the end table's on each side. Okay, and then there's the man's chair. The gentleman's chair right there. And uh, an end table. And then here is the lady's chair with Junior curled up in it on a blanket asleep. And then it's opened up and it goes to that end, which is my craft corner, and you're looking into the family room. And as you come on around, that door goes into the kitchen. And then there's my stereo and my fireplace. With the kids coloring books laying down there. My fireplace. And then there's that little table there. And then the front door. And then we have a rocking chair there. And then there's that end table and back around to the couch. So that is my living room and how it is now on that end. So I've made this end by the door the living room part. And so now... This other end over here is my uh, crafting corner that y'all have seen before. Okay, this, I'm going to start with this right here. That's the door going into my kitchen, and we don't have cabinets on our doors on our cabinets, so please ignore that. And then it goes on into the dining room and back down the hall to the bedrooms. Okay, this corner here, I'm hearing something. I don't know if my girls is coming in or not. This corner here, y'all have seen my old-timey phone before. It's still up there. Okay, I have a tray table sitting there. I still, I have a lot of stuff, and I, I don't have, I have more stuff than what I have room to put it. So, it's cluttered. All right, but I have my bottles and containers sitting there with lots of my, sorry, I was looking at my stuff instead of at the camera to see if it was aimed right. And I know it's really wiggly. I need a vlogging camera so I can do this better instead of on my video, my uh, webcam on the laptop. Okay, but the bottles and containers full of my craft supplies and stuff. Like, I'll get close so you can see some of them. I have beads and... Uh, I have like clips and paper clips and bottle uh, bottle caps, stamps, buttons, all kind of stuff, okay, on there. All right, under that tray is a magazine rack. Let me back out here. And I have a lot of um, big stuff, paper bags that I use. You know, when I paint or glue a lot to not get glue and stuff on my desk and stuff like that. And then there's that table. I still have that little square table with some stuff on it. And this table has got mostly a lot of my projects, unfinished projects on it. Um, I have my scrapbooks here and stuff. I have some more empty containers here I've got to use. This is like crepe paper and the, the ribbons, the paper ribbon, stuff like that. Um, this is a project. I don't know if you can see because I'm not. That little box is a project. I'm going to decorate it. And then I've got some uh, popsicle sticks I plan on making something with. Um, this is my scrapbooking calendar that I got for Christmas that I'm working on in this book. It was supposed to be to scrapbook a, a picture a day and that was a big challenge and I'm way behind. So anyway, but this is some other, I got my crochet and stuff down in here. I'm working on a hat 
that I have not finished. Um, and then I've got some, like, some necklace beads in here that I thought I might could use, uh, on some, like, with my other beads on, um, my projects and stuff. This is some other projects, some wreaths I'm working on. A placemat purse I'm trying to make. This is a little purse I can, um, decorate. This is a sock monkey kit to sew up. That's my star phone wreath there. This is my picture that I painted. I showed y'all that before, and I have a box in front of it. This is my time capsule that I am fixing up for my grandkids to be. And then this is part of the stuff that's going to go on the reef for my reef. So that is unfinished projects. Okay, a new thing that I got. I got several. My desk was not the only thing I got. I got a few little uh, new things to help me organize. It is covered. So it's crowded and cluttered. You can't see it well. Let me see here if I'm... This thing right here. It's a white thing. It's one of them things that you can see. It's like a step thing here. It's one of the things that you put in your pantry to put your canned foods on. And I've got it sitting there and it opens up and spreads out. But it's sunk down because it's too much weight on it. To have all my jars and, and containers on. That's one of the new things. Um, I wanted to show y'all. See the, I don't know if I've ever showed that before. See the three little pictures hanging on the wall? They have the old fashioned, the old timey keys in them. And little sayings. I got those for Christmas. They're cute. I love them. One says, prayer is the key to heaven, but faith unlocks the door. Another one says, the key is happiness to, no, okay, I'm not reading it right. The key to happiness is to live well, love much, laugh often. I really like that one. All right, the other one says, love is the master key that opens the heart. Okay, and then the eagle pictures with our babies. There's Ian on that one, and this is Bubba. We have two sets of three babies. Our first set is uh, lives in Mississippi. Bailey, Cody, and Bubba. And that's Bubba of that set. Ian is the middle child of the three that I babysit here. Okay, this is my Shaytards calendar. Yay for the Shaytards. If you don't need, know the Shaytards, you need to go to their channel and check them out. They're a vlogging family. And they are a funny family. They're in the shape of a Christmas tree right there. Ain't that just so neat? But that they made a, make a calendar and sell it every year. This They've had several, but this is the first one I've bought. And if I can, I'm going to try to buy one every year from here on out after that. Okay, that's just a container I have sitting down there with some um, filing boxes and stuff on it. To hold stuff. Okay, back over here. Like I said, people, I'm not good at this. Alright, where am I at here? Okay, this is my the little roll top desk that I once had in the corner. And that's where I kept my laptop and that's where I would sit all the time on my laptop and to do my crafting and stuff. Which, as you can see, it's very little and it's not very much space. So that's why I got the bigger desk. But so it's over here now in front of the window, kind of like where that black table was that was full of stuff. All right, there's a table there, and I have some, it's a little bitty table, and I have some uh, filing boxes on it and books, and then down below is some more containers of books and journal books and stuff that I have. But this is the little desk now. I've still got to organize the drawers under there, and inside is really full of, oops, I hope I didn't stop the camera, I hit some buttons. I have some papers here, I'm going to do my journal letter to my friend on here, my Bible's here, I'll sit here when I read my Bible. I'll open this up, it's cluttered, crowded, but it has my tape booking, uh, tape paling stuff inside of it. I need to clean that out and reorganize it. So there's still some things I need to do. 
Um, on top, it still has the same stuff, genealogy stuff here, um, and stuff. And then I have, like, my lotions and chapstick and, um, female clippers and my computer cleaning stuff is the tall thing. And then a little calendar there. Okay. This here, this green box that you see, I don't know what exactly it's called. But this was my husband's mother's. And it has cards inside of it. And each card has a picture of a plant, a flower, and it reads on there telling all about that thing. Now, I'm not a gardener by no means. I am not good with planting flowers, and I do not have a plant one in my home. Not that I don't like them. I just, I don't have a green thumb, and I cannot keep them alive. My husband has always picked and said that I could make artificial flowers die. But as far as flowers, I love flowers. My favorite ones are pansies. And I would love to have flowers if I had someone else to take care of them for me and keep them alive. <laughs> but anyway, I think this is a neat thing. And I kind of have an ideal I, that I want to do. Uh, I don't know if I can. Y'all know how I am about putting videos up. I would love to do it every day. But like I said, with my family, that's hard. And um, But like every Friday... And I pick Friday because I could call it Friday's Flower. And that would be so neat, I think. But I would like to do a little short video every Friday where I just show one card and read everything on it about the flower or the plant that's on that card and call it Friday's Flower. And put the video up on YouTube. I think that would be so neat. I would love to try to start doing that um, kind of pretty soon if I can, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. Y'all can, when you see this, tell me what you think of the ideal, if you would like to see that or not. I'd like for me to do that for y'all. Alright, this is another tray, tall stand-up tray, that I keep between the two desks. My garbage can is underneath it. Alright, um, let's see if I can get closer. Now, this is where it's facing to start getting hard, because I'm going to want to show y'all every little thing on my new desk. Um... Normally, okay, it's not setting like it always sets. This here is a little electric heater, and I am a cold person in wintertime. I have to have my heat. In the summertime, I'm a hot person and have to have my air. <laughs> so anyway, normally it's turned off, and I've got it pushed back like this, and then this in the middle. All right, this here is a uh, paper towel holder for the kitchen, but I am using it. I have my duct tape on the middle one. Two rolls of other kind of like melon tape on this side. And then on this side is a little yellow thing with some clear melon tape on it. So I have that there. And this is spray adhesive glue that I'm going to use to put, you know, glue something on something. But when I'm sitting here at my desk, I have my heater. I pull it out and turn it on when I'm cold. Point it right here at me. Because I have to have my heat. All right, now I'm going to back up and show you the whole view of my new desk in the corner. That's the door into the family room right there in the playpen of toys. But this is my new desk. Let me see if I can come out further to show you the whole thing, if I can get this aimed right. There is my new desk in the corner. And if you come out here, I think, and aim it right at the corner, you can see it. All right, come on, Sherry, and get it right. Uh, okay, right there. And I know my head's sticking in the way. I'm trying to get it. I don't know if y'all can see that good or not. But anyway, now I'm going to come in close up if I can to let y'all see. And I want to show y'all every little thing. And I'm hearing something. My girls may be driving up. And I hope not. So I can finish this showing you everything on my desk. 
Alright, let me show you underneath real quick. There's shelves underneath, and this is my rolling desk. I'll pull it out. Back in the corner, I have briefcases and tote bags back in there. Then they have two shelves on that bottom one, and I know it's dark. I wonder if it would help if I shined my flashlight. Let me see. And I have to squat down here. Where is it at? Right there. On the bottom shelf, I have bottles. And then that bag has my plastic canvas stuff in it. And then I have two file folder there's file folders there that has my stock paper and scrapbooking paper in it. On the top shelf, that can is holding my paints. The pink thing is just holding a bunch of other craft supplies and stuff. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, I was squatting down and that hurted. Okay. I can't see when I'm behind it. Okay, the pink box on the bottom shelf has some little boxes in it that I'm saving to make books out of. The pink basket that has all of my crocheting and material and stuff in it. The little bitty pl uh, plastic canvas container box has needles in it. And then those is my embroidery thread. There's another one up there. This box has my cutter in it, paper cutter, and just some kits and some uh, pipe cleaners, other... Uh, <sighs> crafting supplies sorry about that I'm out of breath having to bend down to show you all of that okay I love the way the desk curves I don't know if y'all can see it or not because I'm not seeing it I need to see to know what y'all are seeing but I have all of that area to sit there and work at because I keep my see how it goes in the back between the two side shelves further see the little orange things round things that's got my that's got cute little hood owls on it that's my speakers from a laptop I got them for Christmas and then that right there is a I can hook it up to my little mini because I have a mini laptop which does not have a place for discs and things and this I can hook up to it and put my discs in there to use programs and play games and watch shows and stuff like that. I keep my laptop sitting right there in the middle. But it's pushed back. So I have all of this front area to work on when I'm crafting and scrapbooking and stuff. And I'm going to get me a mat to put here. I don't have one yet, a crafting mat. But I'm going to get me one. Oh, and that's my coaster. Because I've always got something to drink. A bottle of water. My favorite flavor is uh, peach mango. This is my coaster. Ain't it cute? Okay. Now, to show you what's... I'm going to show you the top first. This here... Let me get back around here where I can see. That's a cute little three-drawer purple. Looks like a little dresser. And it has the paisleys on it. And, um, I have things in it. Uh, I got to label all my stuff. That's just miscellaneous stuff. I think it's like, I got some bottle glitter in there and then some little bitty round Tupperware bowls that has stuff in it. Uh, this, that's full of rubber bands. I don't know, that's my mama's picture on top you're seeing. <laughs> they ain't even aiming it right. That's rubber bands. Uh, okay, the top one I think has has my little bitty stapler in it and has some um, paper clips and safety pins and stuff like that in it. Um, odd stuff. Alright, this here is a cute little container that I like. It's a box and it's got some stuff in it. Um, I'm going to set it down here so I can hopefully do it better. I've got some, uh, well, some glass uh, holders for my glasses. This one here my sister made me. Oh, it fell. The Lord is my shepherd, it says. I hope y'all can see that good. It's plastic canvas is what it is. And you open it up like that and put your glasses in it. And then I have 
These are foam bookmarks that you can decorate. I have those in there. And then on the back, I have this butterfly. Uh, it's a big, huge paper clip clipped on the back of it, and it's a pretty butterfly. So that's that, and I keep it sitting up there. All right, that little box. I am sorry for all this movement, people. I need a camera. This is my little mini laptop, and the way I'm wanting to show you everything, I'm not good about this. I am so sorry. Y'all may not even want to watch this. The little box is my hobby box where I have all of my hobbies organized, what I do on what day. That little stand is, I love it. It's my washi tape stand. Let me see if I can get in closer. I'm trying to see too, and I'm hurting my back. But it's like little spools, and they're sitting on there, and that's my washi tape. And then I have a cute little can of cards sitting there. Let me see if you can get this side. Yeah. It's got three. It's got that pink and then the blue there that you see. And then on the back side, it's got another one. Let me see if I can turn around. It's got this. I got this laying on top of it, too. Another little pack of cute cards. But when you turn it around, you see the other card on the back. All right. Like I said, I am not good at this at all. This here is one of them little Tupperware holders that you hold letters in or recipe cards or whatever. When you go to a Tupperware party and you play the games and you win stuff, that's one of those little things. And I have my bookmarks in it. See there? You can see the back of it there. Alright, um, this little thing has just got some tissue paper in it that I can use in my crafting. And then this was a potato sack. But it's purple, and purple's my favorite color, and it's that, whatever you want to call that. So, I've been using that and stuff. This box here, let me take it down, if I can, without dumping it all. <laughs> uh, I got this at a rummage sale. It's cute. It's got uh, stamps all over it, and then, like, pictures... Of different places all over the world. Junior, you're going to have to wait. He's asking me to let him outside. Anyway, inside here is my cards. Birthday cards, anniversary cards. You know, get well cards, shower cards, and the envelopes in the back. So, that's that. Let me get it back up here. Alright. So, that's across the top. Now, over here, this blue basket has embellishments in it. I have a bag of ribbons, and then it's just like flowers and clips and it, uh, brads, all kind of, you know, even like journaling uh, little things. It's all kind of embellishments, no stickers, because my stickers is in this red one down here. I'm going to show you in a minute. This is some cute little tea cans that I got for Christmas one year, several years back. And it had tea in it. And I thought they were so cute. I love them. And I've got some of my supplies in there. I got five of them. So I have them sitting there. This shelf has just got some papers of things with websites and stuff on that I want to check out on my laptop. But also I've got some stuff laid out here. I know it's dark under there and you can't see very good. But this is stuff that I have picked out and just laid up there. It's a project I'm fixing to make a card. And it's all the stuff I'm going to use to make that card. And I've just laid it up there. Okay. Let me set this down here and see if I can tilt it down. That might be better. This red basket, and I don't want that to fall. That's my uh, charger thing for my laptop. I'm trying not to let it fall on the floor. This is my sticker basket. I have some foam stickers in that little bowl, and then I have these kind of foam stickers that glitter, and then I have all my packs of stickers in here. I keep them in here. So that's my stickers, and then I have some big sheets of stickers that's in a Ziploc bag laying here on the bottom. They were too big to fit in the basket, so I laid them there, and I've got that on top. 
this is a bag of some things in there that I'm going to try to use to label my stuff with. Now, this side, let me turn you back around. Okay, you see the top again. We go down. Alright, this is two packs of playing cards that I have. Uh, I have been learning about ATCs. And I love them and I want to start making them. And they tell me that you can use uh, playing cards as the base to make ATCs. And so I am ready. I've got two packs of them. And I'm going to pretty soon start making some. So I've got those there. This is a clay kit. And, well, it's like a pack it's with a bunch of different clay in it. This is just a little Christmas gift card holder. It was left over. I got laying up there. And this is the rest of my coasters. Like the one I'm using. I'm going to alter them. Some kind of way. So I have them up there. Um, and now that won't go back down in there. Okay, there we go. Alright, this one. I'm always needing toilet paper for my nose. Or if I'm gluing, I need something. You know, so I keep that there. That's a... um coaster and that I have ready I'm fixing to alter so I've got it laying there with some stuff on it I'm going to use um this here is a candy dish and I just knocked my flashlight off that I can put candy in and keep here and it's had candy in it before but right now it don't it had my flashlight in it that I just dropped my ruler I wanted it to go huh, in my little caddy thing here but it was too tall to fit under the shelf inside the caddy as you can see. So, since this opens up back here, the shelves don't go all the way back. I can stick it back in there and push it back, and it lays right there. Now, the best thing, I'm going to set this right here and tilt it so you can watch. And I'm going to sit down and rest and get my breath after I pick up my flashlight and set it back up here, get my chair back up here. Woo, I think you can turn that heater off now and push it back. After all that, I'm hot. <laughs> Woo, sorry about that, people. Whoa, trying to get scooted up here. All right, this is another one of the things that I just bought. I guess I showed y'all all the stuff I bought recently. The little thing that holds my jars. And let's see, what else was it that I had bought? My desk. Oh, I showed it to you, but I didn't tell you. The, to the uh, paper towel holder that's got all of my duct tape and tapes and stuff on it. That was one of the, the recent new things I bought to help me organize. I'm getting I ideals from people off of YouTube that shows their crafting rooms and how they organize stuff. And I'm trying to do the same thing. And one day, people, one day I'm going to have... Instead of just a crafting corner, I'm going to have a crafting room. Okay. And I can't wait till that day comes. I got ideals for it. Okay. This is a caddy that I just, that's one of my other new things that I just got. It's black. <clears throat> and I've got a lot of stuff in it. It turns, as you can see. It turns all the way around and I've got it setting up under there. So. I usually keep my cell phone sitting right here, but I don't just have my own personal cell phone. I have to share my cell phone with my two girls, and they're gone. When they leave the house, they have to take it. So, we have a house phone also. That's so, you know, if something happens, they can get in touch with me if they need to. Okay, but that's where I keep it when, it's, when they're at home and it's here. Okay, this here, I got this for Christmas. Ain't it so cute? It is a magnifying glass, but it looks like the old-timey keys. Now, right here it says love, L-O-V-E, love, but I love it. It's beautiful, and I keep that. I had it at one time sitting in there like that for a little while. I don't know what would be the best way to do, and then I decided to turn it over. Ugh, be careful, <laughs> like that. So, what do y'all think? Which way should I put it in there and keep it? Anyway, back here in the middle, I'll take it down so you can see. Instead of one big round compartment, it's like it's halved in two. So, it's two little shelves. 
But this is like my glue area, both of them, because I have glues. I have my glossy accents. This is, uh, not and not just glues, like this is some pop dots, sticky dots to, uh, yeah, sticky, do sticky do's, they're called, to help you stick stuff, papers and stuff. This here is another bottle of glue that got messy, so I put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, and then I have a big glue stick in there, and it's going to fall down. All right, um, see if I can get this back in here nice and neat again. And that was stuck. Oh, I'm going to have trouble now. And then this in there, or stick it in there like that on that side. And then on this side, I have a little tape runner thing here that's empty. I need to get some more tape for it. And then I have some glue dots, a box of glue dots. In there, I guess y'all seen my box of blue dots. I'm not even looking at the camera to see if it's showing good. Okay, so that's in the middle. And I'm going to show you all around now. I have all my pins in this one. And then I have scotch tape here and scissors here. I have three sets. This, this is an old pair I had. This is a new pair that I just bought recently. And this... Um, I bought this one before I did this one a while back. It's a decorative one. It cuts paper, you know, decoratively. I don't know if you can see that in tail. But anyway. All right, then over here I have some more uh, glue sticks all lined up there, even back here. I have plenty of glue sticks. Okay, then over here on this side is my markers and highlighters. You know, and scrapbook pens and stuff on this side. And then over here, this is a knife. It's really my husband's, but he's letting me use it for when I need to cut some things when I'm working and crafting. Then this here is my bone folder. The tip of it broke off a little bit. But anyway, and then this here is a cute little bag that holds... Let me open it up for you here. I'm not going to take them all out. Um, I'll just pull one out. But they're little bitty cute pliers. But there's three of them in there. But they're each one different. You know, one's a flat nose. I don't even know the names of all of them. One cuts and, you know, all that. This is for working with wire and beads when you're beading things and making bead charms. I don't make jewelry because I don't wear jewelry, but you can make little charms and, you know, bead things that can hang on uh, little books that you make or uh, the ATC cards and stuff like that. So that's what that is. Put it back down in there. Close it up and wrap that around there. And I keep that in there. And then in the middle, I have my hole puncher, which is very old. This was my husband's hole puncher, people. And it still works. Matter of fact, it works better than brand new store-bought ones because I went to the store. And, uh, you know, I thought maybe this was too old and I didn't need to use it anymore and I needed a new one. See, the cover of it is even... Uh, off of it and missing or a part of it or something other but anyway so I went to the store and I bought me a brand spanking new one and I used it a couple of times and bam it broke on me so I just throwed it away and said shoot I'll just use this one then because it ain't never gave me no problem so that's that and then this is my um exacto knife that I have and um I keep it there now this here I've been watching YouTube videos on how to make paper beads, and the girl that does it, she has a, it is actually called a bead maker, or whatever, bead roller, and um, it's something similar to, to this, I don't think this is a bead roller, I found it, I couldn't find a bead roller, roller, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here, but at Hobby Lobby, I did find this, it was in another department for something else, I can't even remember now what far. But because it's similar to the bead rollers, I thought, well, maybe that'll work. But what it is, this little thing on the end, 
Let me see if I can get it up close here so you can see. I gotta turn it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell or not. Do it like this, maybe. That's not just like a needle. It's got a split between there. Shoot, this ain't gonna work. It's so little. Let me look at it and see if I can find it myself, see it myself. All right, I see it right there. If I had a fingernail, I could stick my fingernail in it. It's a split right there where my fingernail is. It's a split through there. So you can stick paper through there and it's, you know, to hold it, that's how the bead rollers do. And then you roll the paper around it to roll it up to make a paper bead. And so, since I couldn't find the bead roller, I thought I'd get this and try it and see if it would work. I have not tried it yet, but I will one day. And if it don't work, then I will somehow find me a real bead roller. But that's that. Okay, and then it comes back to the front here. I try to keep it on the front here where my oops, my magnifying glass is and where I keep my cell phone. Now it also, oh I have like, back here I have my Mod Podge glue and back over here I have a big thing of Elmer's glue. You can see right there. I keep those, they were too big to go in the caddy. So I keep them sitting back there in the corner and this is pushed back as far as it goes so that it will turn and um, not have no problem hitting the wall. I have drawers here, too, all around in the bottom. This one don't have anything in it. Now, I put something. Look at that. That's a magnet. I didn't notice that before. Now, why does it have a magnet on the back of that drawer? I'm filling a metal piece in there. But what is that for? Just to help keep the drawers in there? Huh. I didn't notice that before. Anyway, I put something in one of these drawers, I know. I think it's this one. Yep. Because this here is my other blades for my X-Acto knife. I got it in the drawer under where that is. And this here is the other cutter that goes to my paper cutter that's down under my desk here. But that's all I have. I got to find some other little things to put in my drawers. But each one of them opens up. They're just empty right now. That was the only one that I had something in, was this one right here, and I keep it right here. And I love my little black caddy. And so far, I mean, that's all of my desk tour, my new crafting desk tour. I'm going to see, this is my, this is where I keep my laptop sitting right back here, and it's out of my way, and I have all this front part to craft on. I love my cute little, uh, hoot owl speakers for my laptop so they're right there beside it and then my little um disc holder thing i'm going to put my laptop in the corner where i'm going to keep it and then you'll see ugly me <laughs> push it all the way back it is as far back as it will go now let me get straight in my chair at my desk Get my shoe on, my flip flop it fell off. Okay, I don't like this chair either. I plan on getting a new chair. There's still a lot of new stuff that I'm going to get. I'm going to get a new chair. I'm going to get the crafting mat. These tall trays here, the one that I have here and the one that's over there, is really my husband's. He got them. He wanted to use them, and I stole them from him. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, so I'm going to have to find me some other little tall type tables to put here for this stuff to go on so I can give him his trays back. So the tables, the chair, a crafting mat, and I want to try to get some more tight containers to organize my crafting stuff in. So I'm still not through, but <clears throat> I'm working on it, and I'm excited about my desk, and I love it. And this video is too long, I know. Oh, my goodness. It's 44 minutes and 37 seconds, and uh, so it's almost an hour long. I need to go, people. So I will see y'all next time.